Hi everyone, Leo is here. In the demo that you're about to see, I'm going to show you how to deploy an application from the cloud to the edge on AKS and Windows IoT, GitOps, and Azure Arc. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you want to see more of or if this is something that you're actually going to use. Let me know and enjoy. As we can see in the resource group, Contoso has two types of AKS clusters. AKS that is deployed in Azure that is used for Contoso's development and integration tests, and the second cluster, AKS that is deployed on top of Windows 11 IoT, installed on a physical, small footprint machine in their supermarkets. The AKS IoT cluster is ARC-enabled, which will allow them to have a consistent software rollout using GitOps and will support their IT operational needs. Let's review the current application deployment. On the left, we can see the application is deployed on the AKS cluster in Azure and discoverable via a public IP address. And on the right, the same application is deployed on the AKS cluster deployed on Windows IoT in its production form, which also includes store camera integration discoverable via a private IP address. Contoso also regularly update their inventory with new products. To do that, a new version of the supermarket application needed to be tested and deployed to the production AKS on Windows IoT cluster. By having the same GitOps configuration and using the same GitHub repository, Contoso deployed their current version of their supermarket application on both clusters. But before rolling out the new version of the application, let's take a closer look at the GitOps configuration on both clusters, starting with the AKS cluster used for development. We can see that the GitOps configuration is pointing to a GitHub repository, which is where the application's Kubernetes manifest files are located and are used to deploy the supermarket application on the cluster. Switching to the production AKS cluster, we can see that the same GitOps configuration pointing to the same GitHub repository, assuring software rollout will be consistent. Let's move over to Windows Terminal. Using the kubectl get nodes command, on top, we can see the AKS cluster nodes and on the bottom, the ARC-enabled AKS single node cluster deployed on Windows IoT. Taking even a closer look, we can see that the underlying image for the nodes on both clusters is based on Mariner CBL operating system, which is an open source Linux distribution created by Microsoft that is now available for preview as an AKS container host. To support Contoso new toys business, a new version of the supermarket application is needed. To see this in action, we will first monitor the Contoso POS Kubernetes namespace and the deployed pods on both clusters so we can witness the update in real time. To start the rollout process, let's hop over to Visual Studio Code. First, we can see that the local branch is pointing to the GitOps configuration remote branch URL. Now, let's review the two Kubernetes manifest files we have. The first YAML file is describing the application development version that is currently deployed on AKS. We can see that the camera integration and the new toys category are currently set to false. On the second YAML file, describing the application production version currently deployed on AKS on Windows IoT, we can see that the camera integration is set to true and the new toys category set to false. To test the new category and the updated application interface, we will first enable the new category for the development AKS cluster. This will allow Contoso to validate that the new category is added and the updated interface is working. So let's go ahead and commit and push the changes to the GitHub repository. We can see that the new application pod is deploying and the old one gets terminated. By refreshing our browser, we can see that the application interface has changed and the new toys category was added. Great! Now that Contoso validated that the new application interface is working and the new toys category was added to their AKS dev environment, it is time to roll out the change to the production environment. In the second YAML file describing the application production version, currently deployed on AKS on Windows IoT, we will enable the new category. Since this is the production version that is deployed in the store, we will leave the camera's integration enabled. Again, let's commit and push the updates to the GitHub repository. As expected, we can see the behavior of the rollout happening instantly on the production AKS cluster. By refreshing the browser, we can see the new version with the camera's integration now available in the store. 
This side-by-side -side view shows how Contoso were able to test and deploy the same point-of-sale application on two different AKS deployments across cloud and edge. Thank you.